Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here from Droid Life, and I'm bringing you our first hands-on exclusive. Just kidding, not an exclusive, but it is our first hands-on and kind of an overview impression of Ubuntu for Nexus devices. They just released the developer preview build this morning for Nexus uh, tablets and smartphones. Um, unfortunately, it's not available for Toro, Verizon, Galaxy Nexus users, but you know, because it's the stepchild. But anyways, I have it booted up here on my Nexus 10. And so far, you know, I'm actually kind of liking it. Um, functionality level, uh, level, level is a, about zero. Um, there aren't too many apps working for it, but what it does kind of give you is a nice little preview of what to expect, maybe when it is kind of done and ready for release. Um, they have stated that they're kind of expecting a real release to happen around early 2014. And it's February of 2013 currently, so we have a little bit of ways to go. But either way, here it is. Um, when you first boot it up, I, I booted two zips through a custom recovery, and this is what uh, you're greeted with. So basically, you can see like you can have multiple user accounts on it, and the lock screen is actually pretty nice. Um, it just kind of gives you, I had to, obviously it's asking for passwords, and I don't have a password for any of these people, so I just use the guest account, tap to unlock, and then you're greeted with the Ubuntu Touch OS Home. And so it kind of gives you a list of apps up here, your favorite people that you're following. It's pretty nice, actually. And um, then down here, people recently in touch, it shows, you know, has a lot of integration with social networking like Facebook for example and it shows their phone numbers and all that good stuff but of course you know none of it's really working it's just kind of like showing off what it will be like um, you have your recent music videos that are popular online and um, yeah so basically well here I'll go back over so down here in the bottom it kinda shows what you have you have your people you have your music and then oops your home, and then your apps, go up, and then your videos, and then over here, I mean, it's it's nice and smooth, you can kind of go through, see what's happening, new movies, online videos that are popular, you can tap on each, like, individual movie, it'll bring up info, and then you can rent or buy straight from Amazon, but of course, that is non-working, it's just kind of just a preview, like I mentioned. So not too not too much functionality, and then say we go back over here to apps. I'm still kind of learning how to like work this thing. It's kind of when you're sliding back and forth, it's a little hiccupy. So you got some apps over here, but all of them are not working currently. So we have what is kind of working though is the browser. So I guess if you only want something that takes pictures and is a browser, this is for you. Um, the URL is down at the bottom, which is different from Android. It's kind of annoying at first but it goes and then to kinda get back I noticed that there was like no back button so you swipe down from the bottom left bring up a little search thing and then you can X out and go back to your home and all of that so one of the neat things that I did notice is like up here in the top right corner you have your notification sound network battery and time and each one of these you can slide down on so say I want to slide down on notific uh, oops I want to slide down on notifications and it brings up your list of messages, notifications, all that. Each one of these you can slide away, which is actually pretty, pretty nice. And like I said, it's smooth, fluid, and that'll be nice. But um, if it was a message, you can call back, message through Skype, or if it was a call, you can call back, all that good stuff, message them. Pretty nice. And then you can just swipe back up. There's sound options, mute, volume, fancy. Um, your networks, all that works just fine. And then it shows you some battery, 38% remaining, oh boy. Um, you can adjust your brightness with the slider. And then here, the date and time, this is actually pretty nice. Um, it's got that famous old Ubuntu look. Um, calendar down here with upcoming events, all that fun stuff. Other than that, uh, the camera app is working. Um, seems, you know, to be just fine. You can take pictures and all that fun stuff and then again I mean to get out you have to slide up and get to this little search bar and then from there you can have your recent apps or just back out of it completely and go back to home um, really I mean <laughs> you know 
it's just a preview build, so there's not much to show off currently. Um, but it is neat. It's very nice. Um, developers will start getting their hands on it, and we can expect to see kind of more stuff come from it. But until then, yeah, there's not too much to show. I kind of wish that there was more, you know, unique stuff to show off, but, you know, it's, it's just a very early build. Um, and like I said, if you only want a browser and a gallery and, um, yeah, I can't even, like, a you know, a camera, that's about it. I haven't even checked Gmail to know if that works. I'll check it for you. Oh, yep, looks like that's going to work for you. Oh, one thing I did notice is say... Okay, God, it's such a pain to just go back. Slide up. Maybe not. Well, maybe. Maybe I'm stuck on Gmail now. Fantastic. This is my favorite part about early builds of alpha stuff. Oh, come on. Now the keyboard is stuck? This is what I'm talking about, people. If you slide from the left, you can get to recent apps from there. What if I just want to go home, though? Ugh. Yeah, this is... As you can see, this is a lot of fun. Oh, keyboard went away, but now I'm... I don't know what's going on. As you can see, it has a ways to go. Oh, wow. Now I, I got back home. This is great. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comments section. And, uh, yeah, hopefully once developers get their hands on it, start pumping out some, uh, some apps and all that fun stuff, it'll be a little bit more useful and user-friendly. Until then, Tim from Droid Life, peace.